What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more cold waters and today we're continuing our pursuit of accomplishing all these single missions. Uh, last time we went ahead and did the duel, went a little overboard killing the uh, nearby merchant ship as well as well as the uh, submarine we were after. But we went ahead and did the duel today. We are working on number two in the presence of wolves. And our brief here is 15th of March 1984 on a routine barrier patrol. You make contact with a wolf pack of diesel electric subs trying to break out into the western approaches. Your primary objective, duke it out with the enemy subs and make sure they don't escape. Very good, very good. We'll go ahead and start here. And then again, we get to pick our submarine. Last time we did the LA class. I'm thinking about sticking with the LA class. Because it does great against multiple uh, enemies. We could do the sturgeon uh, or the permit. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to stick with the LA class because we're so well versed with it. I think it's a solid sub for all these missions. So let's look at the LA class. I think next mission we'll switch it up though. Let's go ahead and go against the uh, diesels with this LA class and uh, we'll go from there, right? Let's go ahead and let's get to it. Last time we were in charge of the USS Atlanta. Today we're taking command of the USS Portsmouth SSN 707. Congratulations. Good luck in your new command. Thank you. All right, here we go. Mission number two. We have a new sonar contact, Captain Bearing 328. Designate Sierra 1. Our depth is 327 feet. Our current heading is 301. So just to our right, there's a clear light breeze, moderate surface duct, moderate thermal layer, 132 feet. Very good. Our speed is currently 5 knots. Uh, what is our status report? So I didn't do this last time. Load me a moss. Give me three Mark 48s. No harpoons needed. And let's close it within 20,000. All hands manual battle stations. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Three, two, eight. Designated Sierra, one. Right, Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar new contact bearing two six seven designated Sierra two. All right, maintain current course. Bring me up to 150 feet. Make depth one five zero feet. Dive by. Get me near the layer. Let's start identifying here. Sonar two contacts, possibly three. Wolfpacks uh, usually about three. All right, so it's gonna be a Foxtrot or a Romeo. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Right, one's above the layer, one's below. That's alright. We could fight either one of these, I don't really care. If, they're, if they are truly Romeos, I'm not really scared of them. They are very quiet. We're going to try to ascertain the... Uh, Horse and heading, so they both can't hear me if they are indeed Romeos. And that's the thing with this game, if you don't have a, a good identifier, you could be totally off on whether they hear you or not. That's one thing I love. But we're up against two, it's 2v1 right now. I'm thinking there might be a third. What's our conditions? Our sea floor is at 1724. We got plenty of room to maneuver. Our max step is 950 feet, so plenty of uh, room to work with. gets any cleaner. We're at 150 feet. Maintaining course. They still can't hear us, so maintain course and heading. Maintain speed as well. Sierra 1. None of, neither of them are getting cleaner. Both are in the same Con, area. dive at 150 feet. Dive by. Both are in the same area as to whether they can hear us or not, so I'm not too worried. If they go active, I don't even think they'll be able to find us. And I'm hugging this layer because that's, they're both, they're operating in tandem and they're covering both sides of the layer, which is actually very smart. Might be, ooh, we could get in the Romeo's baffles here. Let's go ahead. Come left to two, two, six, eight, helm, I. If we're getting one's baffles and kill him, then the other one is left uh, on his own. Even if we launch a torpedo evade and then have to reacquire one, that's totally fine. Let's keep the tabs on Romeo 2. Solution is 75%. He's about 10,000 yards off our bow. Moving about 12 knots. Cannot hear us for sure. All right, the Romeo Sierra 1 is getting... Uh, is he above or below? Oops. All right, Romeo 1's below. Below. And, all right, so Romeo 2 is the one who's above. Let's climb... Up Con, the helm. Stay. Make depth one zero zero feet. Dive by. By coming into his baffles and going above the layer, we'll evade uh, 
Sierra 1. And we'll be able to take out Sierra 2. And he can't hear us. Uh, 1 is close to hearing us. Nope, that just changed. Sierra 2. Sierra 2 is close to hearing us because we're right above that layer with him. If we can get into his baffles, we'll be okay. It's getting questionable though whether we will or not. Our Sierra 1's a lot closer than I thought. We see him out there. Yep. Con, dive at two. one, zero, zero feet, dive by. That's fine. Are we able to get into the baffles at all? Maintain course and speed. If the Romeo if Sierra 1 turns towards, we're gonna have to kill both of them quickly. Which is fine. We will hard to starboard. Actually, we'll hard to port and we'll dive, get underneath this Romeo if he does indeed shoot at us. But they are doing like a circle here. This is actually not helping. This Romeo is actually, CR2 is turning too much. So what we could do is split the difference and fire off two torpedoes, but we probably are going to lose the wire. That's for getting some quick kills here. Romeo 1 cannot, I'm just going to call him Romeo 1 and Romeo 2. Romeo 1 cannot hear. Romeo 2, on the other hand, actually is close to hearing us. Let's just maintain course. Here's Romeo 2 right here. I don't know if you can see him. I'm sorry, this is Romeo 1, and Romeo 2 is right here. can't hear us. Romeo 2 on the other hand. Alright, so minus 10, minus 10. It's not getting better, but it's not getting worse. Let's try to shrink our profile. Come right to 2, 9, 5, helm I. Moving at 12 knots, and Romeo 1 is moving at 12 knots. They're doing like a circle pattern here. So I think what we're going to do... aircraft or not. That's annoying. I didn't know we were fighting aircraft. I thought it was just us versus the wolf pack. Alright, we have solutions on both. Alright, so what is Romeo 1 doing? Con, helm, steady course. Alright, let's set this to dive. So this will be for Romeo 1. Romeo 2 is maintaining a depth above the layer. Pretty still 150 feet. Make depth one five zero feet dive by. I don't think the Romeo here is if we just peek below, but this will help evade the uh, Romeo 2. He's looking at his uh, signature here. It's just not where I want it. I think we're ready to shoot. Let's just point towards a uh, heading of 330. Come right to. Three, three, zero. When Helm, I. When we come to uh, our course, we will flood the tubes and we will fire away. I'm going to fire at Romeo 1 first, because he's going to have no clue. Con, dive at 150 feet, dive I. Alright, 150 feet, we're heading to course 330. At course 325. Approaching course. Alright, course 328. Course 330. Helm, report. Action. Con, helm, 
Steady course. Romeo 1, still can't hear us. Alright, fire point procedures, tube 3, I believe? Is this tube 3? Maybe tube 2, who knows? But we're going to set it to dive and active on its point. 95% firing solution, 7.4 thousand yards. Uh, fire one ready. Shoot tube 2, aye sir. Tube 1, to Romeo 2. Fire one ready. Shukan sonar, Sierra 1 is cavitating. Lost torpedo to bearing zero, zero, zero. Fire one ready. Shoot two four. Two, Aye, sir. Reload Moss immediately. Alright, both submarines are going into torpedo evasion. They only have a max speed of 13 knots, so that way we would outrun them. Maintain current course. Leave, two, leave the third torpedo in the tube, just in case we need it. Start, all right, Romeo 2, we are completely in his baffles. He has no clue. We're about to be in Romeo 1's baffles if he continues turning. Uh, torpedo, let's adjust course, please. Torpedo 1, adjust course. Con, torpedo room, tube 4 ready. Perfect. Maintain current position. Maintain course and speed. We are in a perfect, kind of split the difference between both of them. We're staying in this 150 foot depth, uh, kind of like that shadow zone. I like it. Yeah, they, they're, mm, Romeo 1 might hear us if they, oh no, we're in his baffles now. Romeo 2 definitely, oh, not in his baffles, I guess. Kind of outside of that arc, I guess, the 60 degree arc. To weapon, adjust course and speed to accommodate the enemy. Torpedo one, maintain. I'm gonna let this play out. Zoom out a little bit. Eh, I like to bump it in. Uh, weapons are running hot, straight, and normal. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Very good. Can we watch that? Here we go. Oh, you're dead, buddy. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, one, six. So Romeo 2 has initiated a noisemaker. Romeo 1 is dead. Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, zero, three, six. Contact breaking up. Romeo 2 is right above the layer. It's all right. Oh, whoa, 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 where'd he go? No, he's out here. That's a bad... Come above the layer. Get this... Make this depth out. one, zero, zero feet. Die by. That's a bad course and heading. No way. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. That's what I thought. He's not there. That's a bad reading. It might explode before we reacquire him. Con sonar. Noisemaker. Bearing. Three, one, nine. There we go. Very good. All right, adjust course to 270. Come left to 270. Helm oh, high. I'm assuming there's just two. Uh, wolf packs in this game. Usually I thought were three. Con, three dive at 100 feet, dive by. Uh, looks like we are... Looks like we're just gonna fight two, I guess. Make depth four, five feet, dive by. Romeo, pretty ugly of a boat. Yeah, not good. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Whoa, 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 they get, they get air support? That was a torpedo that just dropped. Make depth eight, zero, zero feet, dive by. Yeah, it's right there. Or is that Con that's, Helm? That's my moss. Steady course. Did they drop on my moss? I don't know. Wolfpacks had aerial support, especially ones trying to break out into the Atlantic. That's our moss. It's heading due north. Maintain course. Can we leave combat? We can't leave combat. So I, I don't know what's up with that aircraft. Usually, I, I didn't think that was going to be a thing that we'd have to worry about aircraft, but it totally just dropped something with a parachute. Might have just been a sonar boot. Con, torpedo yeah. room, tube two ready. So our aerial enemy is dropping sonar buoys. That's what this 
that's what this is right here. So he's way up here, probably predicting that the moss is us, which ain't the case. But uh, Rick for Rick ultra ship quiet. for ultra quiet. There we go. I don't think we have to worry. We can probably just leave combat. What a great looking boat. Look at that thing. But yeah, there's mission two in the bag. Let's leave combat. Here we go. Two Romeos. That's all we had to fight. No damage. Very good. I love it. But yeah, that's going to do it for uh, the second single mission uh, in cold waters. Uh, kind of a 2v1, 3v1, whatever they kind of pick for you. Not too shabby. The LA class can handle diesel boats pretty easily. Most most submarines in this game can handle a diesel boat. The only thing you got to do is find them because they're usually pretty quiet. But once you have a bearing on them, yeah, they're, they're usually done for, especially against Mark 48s. That's going to do it for uh, mission two. We will come back here uh, at a later episode for the rest of the missions and continue on with number three. But until then, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Adios.